In 1887, British composer, pianist, and writer Jesse Shepard constructed a Queen Anne-styled mansion in San Diego that reflected his eclectic tastes. His Villa Montezuma mirrored his obsession with stained glass windows and gargoyle statues and became an ideal location to stage his frequent seances. He was rumored to converse with the dead habitually. His second floor displayed valuable artifacts and gifts he'd acquired from years of performing throughout Europe. His experimental lifestyle lasted only a single year as demands for his concerts dwindled and his finances ran dry. He drifted into poverty and was supported only by a lifelong friend who'd toured the world formally with him during his glory years. They settled in Los Angeles where his friend became a tailor and offered French lessons. The maestro shepherd agreed to thank him with an intimate concert attended only by intimates. On the last piece, Shepard added a final flourish and remained rigidly frozen to the piano, despite enthusiastic applause. As his guests approached, they realized the 78-year-old Shepard had died while playing his final note. 